Hey Siri, how do you understand what I'm asking you? Interesting question. Well, it is an interesting question and this discussion is about to get better. Welcome to yet another episode of One Byte at a Time where we find out how voice assistant works. In today's session, we will look at how Alexa can change songs for you, how you can have conversations with Siri and how Google Assistant can dial up any contact on your list as per your request. Today, voice assistant pretty much help us with anything. It might miss your things at times and pull up an accurate results, but it helps for most part. So let's look at what exactly goes behind. How does voice assistant work? Is it a complex form of code? Is it an actual person responding in real time? Well, you might be amazed to find out that the answer is a lot simpler than you think. We all know we have to make use of signal word for the device to start helping us. So what are these signal words? Before making any request, we start off with the signal words like Hey Siri, Alexa, OK Google. These signal words wakes up the device. Well, voice assistant starts recording the request you are trying to make after it hears the signal word. The recorded request is then passed on over the internet to its database. The device is designed in a way that it waits for the pause for it to assume that you have finished your request. So sometimes when the pause is longer, the device assumes that you have finished your request and pulls up inaccurate results. Some requests take longer while some are fulfilled relatively quicker. When you ask Siri what's the weather, it responds really quickly. Basically, more direction you provide to the device, the quicker it fulfills the request. As we discussed earlier, voice assistants also can fetch inaccurate results. Like humans, even these machines try to learn because that's how they are programmed too. So when your voice assistant fetches you an inaccurate results, what exactly do you do? You command it to stop. So what exactly you do is whenever you ask for something and it gives you a bad result, you ask the machine to stop. For example, let's say you ask country music and it plays rock, you command it to stop. Now the machine learning algorithm, which is built in with this voice assistant, basically understands that that particular result is wrong. And the next time you search for the same thing, it tries to draw better results. So now let's move into the technological side of things. Which technology is used by voice assistants to understand your requests? Automatic speech recognition or ASR is the technology used to do that exact thing. This technology is used for humans to interact with computer interfaces by using their voices. So when you make a request using speech, the speech gets converted to text and that text is used by the system to search in its database to find the information you requested for. Once it finds the information, it converts that text into speech and brings you your expected result. So when your speech gets converted to text, that's where NLP kicks in. Now what is NLP? Natural Language Processing, also known as NLP, helps figure out command from natural sentences we use like Alexa, play something in the way by Nirvana on Spotify and draws accurate and appropriate content for its user. Now there are two subfields of NLP. One is Natural Language Understanding and the other one is Natural Language Generation. Let's quickly look at what they do. To simply explain what these two subfields do, let's quickly look at the example we made previously. Say you made a request to your voice assistant saying, Alexa, play something in the way by Nirvana on Spotify. Natural language understanding will convert this unstructured input into set of instructions such as intent, play, slot, something in the way by Nirvana, invocation app, Spotify. You may not always provide the detail in a structured manner and give out every single detail that the device might need to perform the operation, but NLU does that on your behalf. The instructions are fed in the backend server for the code to function which will invoke the app. But before it invokes the app, you get the message from voice assistant. Now for the voice assistant to translate the search into voice message, it requires a second subfield of NLP which is NLG. Natural language generation is where the machine learns to use the structured data to present it in human understandable format with correct syntax and grammar with the result it derived. For example, you might have noticed this multiple times. So let's say you ask it to play something in the way by Nirvana on Spotify. Your voice assistant will reply with something like now playing something in the way from album Nevermind by Nirvana from Spotify. 
However, this was just a small breakdown of the workflow when you are requesting a song to your voice assistant. The workflow may differ depending upon the request you are making to your voice assistant. From interacting with devices over text to now making use of voice requests, our interaction with devices have changed tremendously. This was a quick brief on how voice assistant understands your request. If you want to know logic behind any other day-to-day -day tech interaction in your life, drop them in the comment section below. And do not forget to follow Scalar to keep finding various workings of technologies with one byte at a time.